the Toronto Islands are one of the coolest places to visit in Toronto. And if you're wondering what's waiting for you on this awesome chain of 11 islands off the shores of Lake Ontario, here's what's in store for you. Right next door to Toronto's Weston Harbour Castle is the Jack Layton Ferry Terminal. The Toronto Islands ferry system has boats that run from morning till night, shuttling visitors to the three main marinas on the islands. Hanlon's Point, Centre Island and Ward's Island. So we've landed here and we're gonna go meet up with Toronto Island Sup, which is right around here somewhere. And we're gonna get some boards from them and go explore some of the waterways. Toronto Island Sup is a great place to rent stand-up paddle boards, kayaks, and canoes to explore the island's waterways. You can even sign up for one of their guided tours. Paddling around the Toronto Islands gives you the best chance to escape to some of the city's most pristine nature spots. It is also where you'll find the most epic views of the Toronto skyline. One of the most popular things to do on the Toronto Islands is rent a bicycle or a quad cycle to explore the trails. One of those stops is the famous Gibraltar Point Lighthouse. This Toronto Island Lighthouse dates back to 1809 and has been a landmark ever since, guiding boats through the narrow passages that lead to the Toronto Harbour. Be careful though, it's rumoured to be haunted. Continue on through the island chain and you'll reach Hanlon's Point. This is the home to the Toronto Island Airport. On your way back to the islands, make a stop at some of the incredible Toronto Island beaches. Just make sure to pick carefully, as one of these is Toronto's most popular nudist beach. If there's one thing about the Toronto Islands that you absolutely can't miss, it's the incredible beaches. Look at this, this is just beautiful.
Near the pier at Center Island Beach is where you'll find many of the most popular things to do on the Toronto Islands. Here you'll find loads of great restaurants, splash pads, walking trails, and nearby, the popular Center Island Amusement Park, which unfortunately wasn't open when we visited. Near here, you'll also find the popular hedge maze. Be careful though, it's harder to find your way out than you think. <laughs> Looks like people just gave up here. Toronto Islands make for an incredible day trip in Toronto. Whether you're traveling with kids or on your own, it's worth a visit to this special place. Thanks for checking out our video. I hope we've inspired you to come visit the Toronto Islands. If you like what you see, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. It really helps us out and we appreciate each and every one of you who does this. We'll see you next time on Wandering Waggers Adventure Family Travel.